told us, they gave us the assembly at 2.15. We go into the assembly, everybody stayed there until 2.57, which is the time that we get out of school. And at the end of the assembly, they told everybody that if they didn't opt out by 4 o'clock with a parent's signature, we weren't allowed to go to prom. And if we opt out, walked out, failed the test, or just didn't take it in general, we weren't allowed to go to prom and we were losing a bunch of other stuff too. Before the test started, they put them all in there. They're all listening to music, playing around, doing all that. And then they make them all go to the classes right before that. They told Benny he was spending it right on the mic and telling everybody about the walkout. Hello, my name is Sergio Fogel. And I'm, I'm a 12th grader at Penn Tree High School. And I have opted out of the Keystone because I have not passed it out once in my four years of high school. How many times have you taken it? Three. We think that we deserve to learn whatever we want to do as we grow up in life. Like I want to be a dancer when I grow up and I'm in Penn Tree, but don't have dance plan. So it's like, y'all training me to be something else that I am not. And I just want to be like what who I want to be, but I can't just because of the budget cuts and because the keystone. If I don't take this test, I can't go to prom. I'm getting sick and tired of people telling me, if I don't do this next year, I'm not going to be able to walk. I'm going to just get my diploma. But is, is that the case? Is that the case? Is that what you said if we was to walk out or opt out of the test, we're not allowed to go to prom. Well, that we have to take the test to go to prom. Yeah, yeah, to and what about if you don't do well on the test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still can't go to prom. You still can't go. Y'all got to start listening to the youth. And we think, in our opinion, we shouldn't be we shouldn't be like learning throughout the whole school year just on one test. All throughout the whole school year, all the, all we all the work we did is about the keystones, and it just like it sickens me because like you're trying to take away these these kids' dreams. And like you think it's okay with it, just so you can get money to build more prisons. <laughs> they, they, they can't give us no help, help no advice. Um, uh, we like we're passing too. courses oh, that that we're going on inside. to the next, yeah. and they're, we're supposed to know this stuff. So it's sort of impossible, really, to even pass a piece like this. If, if throughout your high school career you're going through different subjects, at the end of the day, they should be able to show their academics through their work. Not do a test. Uh, if we did, if we didn't take the keystones or we opt out the keystones, that we couldn't walk for graduation. We would still get our, our diploma, but we couldn't walk in graduation. So you would be denied the opportunity to participate in graduation ceremonies graduation. in front of your family. Uh, any any event that we normally would like, any high school student would have is basically getting taken away from. Boom boom. Boom boom. Boom boom. boom. I feel as though, like, my little brothers and my little sisters, if they're not smart enough to pass this test, then they won't even get their graduation high school diploma. And a high school diploma means everything for, really, it's everything. If you don't have a high school diploma, you might as well just call yourself a bum on the streets. The youth are, the youth are not stupid. We just want to let y'all know, with, without any help from y'all, we are not stupid. And we have the power to do what we what we must, so you will see more actions and you will see more voices. We don't want to take this test.